Gmail and Google Drive are two tools that a lot of people really like to use, but you know what? There's so many different little things here and there that you can automate using a relay.app. And we wanna use this video to showcase how Gmail and Google Drive, the automations are endless and extremely simple to get done by using relay.app. But what is relay.app? Relay.app is the new standard for automation. It's a platform that allows you to connect different steps that you would have had to do by yourself to a simple process that gets things done quicker. So as a business owner, it really does make it's difficult to always track all of your invoices and keep everything up to date on the financial side. However, I will say that when you are somebody who knows how to use a platform like Relay.app, I can make anything, and I mean anything, simpler. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a short little automation where all I need to do is label an email that I get in my Gmail to the label invoices. And then from there, it'll actually upload that invoice file from the email that I've received to Google Drive in the exact location that it needs to be for a client by stripping down the email address that it was grabbed from and figuring out whether that domain matches anything in my Google Drive. So that if I have a client folder, it'll upload to it. And if I don't have a client folder with that domain name, it'll actually upload to a new one that it'll create. I'm really excited to show you this. Let's dive into it. So, I'm gonna log into my account. So I already have an example automation here. And while it might look confusing in the first place, it's actually pretty simple to set up. I've essentially connected my Google account when it comes to my Gmail and Google Drive. And I'm utilizing this platform to take something that starts the process, as in the trigger, and then have it do different steps to complete an action that I could do manually, but instead I'm gonna do with an automation. This one specifically is going to be, I'm gonna find where there are instances where I've labeled an invoice as invoice inside of my Gmail. And then following that, it finds a folder that has that domain name in my Google Drive. And if it has that folder, it'll upload that attachment to the folder that has that same domain name from the email that was sent, or it'll actually create a new Google Drive folder that would fix that gap where there wasn't that domain named email inside of like the name of a Google Drive folder. And following that, it would create a new folder that then the attachment would get uploaded into. So let's show you how the steps all work and how they can happen because I'm sure you're excited to get into automations using relay.app. So all you have to do to get started is create a new workflow. And what I'm gonna do is title it whatever you want. Like for example, I'm gonna title it new invoice upload sequence. And then I'm gonna put Gmail and Google Drive at the end here. That usually tells me like what different third-party applications I'm connecting to. So if we click on add trigger, I'm gonna grab my Gmail connected app. And all you'd have to do to connect this would be go to your Google authentication process and connect an email, for example. And you can do that for Google, for your entire workspace or just go one app at a time. So I'm gonna press label added. And as you can see in the side over here of my Gmail, I have an invoice label. So anytime a email comes in that would be labeled as invoice, what I could do is essentially have it follow that process. And that is because this trigger is triggered <laughs> when a label is added to an email, right? So what I'm gonna do is select the specific label though and type out invoice is and you'll see there are multiple different options here based off of this specific set of items here in my inbox. And you can also set it to only trigger for the first email in a conversation. There was a thread in here, so I just wanted to have be for the first email in the conversation in some instances, but eh, let me just keep it for everything. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a step. So this would be the first thing in the process that would happen after the trigger. So I'm gonna just type drive, or you can type out Google Drive, and then that helps you find what app it would be. And then I'm going to try to find the folder. So what I'm going to do in order to try to find this folder, right, is I'm going to click enter manually. Now, this is just a little bit easier of a process because you can select from the email or workflow run, uh, just like from a drop down. But I like this process easier because there's some more functions hidden within. So if I hover over this, I'm going to grab the email, right? And then I'm looking for you know, do I have a client folder with the name of like their domain, right? So like mine's ricebrush.com that I'm looking for. 
So I'm gonna use this function that extracts the domain. And that will essentially have me try to find it. But what's gonna happen if that isn't found? I would say have it continue because I have a solution to fix that problem. And if there's more than one in the folder, you can just pick the first one. And then at any point, if you'd like, you can test this uh, or any of the different steps that we have within the automation. You can always try to test the step or test the entire automation. So next we're gonna press plus here. Now I'm gonna add another step, which essentially is gonna be called a path. So a path, which is based off a rule, essentially allows you if, for example, one condition happens, you'd go on one path and if another happens or anything else besides that condition happens, you would go down another path. So I'm gonna set this up so that if this folder was found in that Google Drive search, then I'd add another step within this path that does the following. It would upload the files from that email and you'd guess it, the attachments within that email. All right, so we got the email attachments right here. Very simple, I'm sure you can understand how, how great that is. And then usually the email, uh, I'm gonna just grab the subject line, that always seems to be relevant, and then add a hyphen, and then I'm actually gonna add the um, email attachments file name, right? So it's just gonna be like kind of mixed together. And then that would essentially upload it to my Google Drive. So very simple, someone adds a label invoice. I have a client with the folder riseproductive.com in my Google Drive. It would essentially upload it to my Google Drive. Now, that's way easier than doing it yourself. But what if, for example, you don't have a folder in there? That's what this second path is for. So essentially, if no other path is matching, this is how this would go, right? So basically, if it is not found, then this is what would happen. I would make a alternative one, which would be Google Drive, and I would create a folder where it would be, you guessed it, the email function extract domain, right? So we're going to make sure that it actually has the right name there. And then the step below that in that path would be what you have over here, right? This upload the email attachment. So if you want to, a uh, quick pro tip, you can duplicate and even drag it into the other path. And the only adjustments you would make is that you make sure that that parent folder in both instances is the object. So for this one, we're gonna just grab this folder right here. So this would essentially upload it to this folder that was searched here. And since this folder was just created, we're gonna go here and make sure it selects number three. Now this is what that great numbering system kinda helps you with, right? So we're grabbing and uploading it to the folder number three, right? Whereas in this one, you can clearly tell the number over here was one. That's why for this one, it's uploading it to parent number one. All right, so then for example, if we do a test run of this automation, we grab an invoice here, like this pay this please one, for example, and create a run, then press start run. And as you can see right here, I have a new folder created called riseproductive.com with the invoice, pay this please hyphen, which is, that was the name of the uh, email that I received. And then the invoice itself downloaded. And then the invoice itself name wise is uploaded into my Google Drive. Another great example use case of, of this is when I'm sharing screen recordings with my team. This is a very similar use case. The only difference is I'm gonna actually do folder created. So the other option was for files in a specific folder, but say for example, you, had a folder like this, where in this folder, this is where all of my screen recordings are going. I can just paste this link once again, and you'll see these are all the different instances, including a recording that I've done for a Relay before right here. And then all I'd have to do would be to tweak this again. Anytime you change that original trigger, you're gonna have to change this. So once again, I can just do name for that folder, and then I'll grab the URL of the folder. And if I wanted to test this step, I absolutely could by utilizing a folder in here, pasting the link, testing it, and I'll get a Slack message pretty quickly. And boom, I have this message. So if I click on it, it'll bring me to this relay folder that I just had added to the Google Drive. So whether you wanted to do it for adding a file or adding a new folder, you totally can make that happen. And by simply pressing the on button here, then anytime a new folder would be added here, I'd get that Slack message notifying that there was a screen recording sent. I get a notification notifying that there was a screen recording uploaded here. And if I wanted to change it, I could send it to not me, but instead maybe an editor on the team. Like for example, we have Vinicius, at riseproductive.com and I would send a DM to him. So then not only for me, but for other people, they can be informed of those different circumstances when files are uploaded, more folders are created. Those instant notifications, those easy uploads to the system, that's the kind of stuff that just makes life so much easier when using Relay versus just not having it exist in general. So if you like this video and wanna see more content from us here at Relay, make sure to check out other content like this one by liking the video and subscribing for more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.